You know what I mean? Yep. Hell yeah.
All right. It's another Tuesday. You know what? We were a little late today. I'm going to go ahead and say my bad. Uh, I'm the reason why we're late. But while I was waiting for everybody to log in here, I saw the best comment from Brian Holcomb said, that music makes me want to strangle somebody. You know, I, that's what we're going for on this show right there. Uh, just good family uh, quality entertainment. Uh, yeah, that music Man. is absolutely horrid. <laughs> Jeff, uh, yeah. Jeff Lutz. Uh, that sounds like Jeff Lutz. Uh, Jeff, is that you talking in the background? That, that is me. How are you doing, Boosted? Good, man. I'm glad you joined me. Uh, you know, I'm sorry that my music is uh, a little too, what's the word, maybe uh, too hip for you. Uh, you know, uh, we, yeah. we can't all, uh, it, it turns out that, you know, 70s and 80s music is great, but not so great for a podcast. So that's why uh, I, I didn't use it for tonight. But uh, I mean, if you have some music requests, Jeff, next time I'm going to put, I'll get it for you and I'll make sure we got your special music uh, uh, for when some you like here. five finger death punch should be good. Anything. Okay. Around. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know you were into that. I figured that'd be too oh loud my. for you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Jeff. Man, thank you so much for joining me tonight, man. Uh, feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Uh, yeah, you know, it's been a while, huh? Holy shit. It has. It has. Uh, we, got, we got some things to talk about with you. Um, I think you probably know a couple of the topics, so we'll kind of we'll, we'll, we'll ease into those, of course. Um, you know, we did have a oh, mega cast. What's that? <laughs> I said, we might as well just dive right in. You know what everybody wants to know. <laughs> Already? You want to just go ahead and just just jump into it now? Hell yeah, let's okay. do it. Yeah. All right. So, last <laughs> night, we had, uh, we had some – it was the night of Street Outlaws, right? I mean, we've got the OG show. We've got the Mega Cash Day show. Um, I guess the topic that everybody wants to talk about right now – with you is on the OG show was the daily driver race. And yep. allegedly you may or may not have sat in a vet and you know, may, things may have got a little wild and just, just kind of, you know, yeah. It, let's just talk about what happened, Jeff, dude, I've seen you drive, you drive three second cars. Uh, I do. What? <laughs> what happened <laughs> well i'll tell you what you know what uh a lot of people you know i know a lot of people at home think this shit's easy and uh you know when i'm out there filming i put myself on the line i put it out there as far as i can because we're trying to make the best damn tv show out there and you know what ryan brought that corvette over i jumped behind the wheel i never drove a corvette before and you know what we tried it. It was doing a burnout. And if you watch the video, I looked down for a second to see what gear I was in. And when I looked up, I was already turning. And it was too late, you know. Stupid shit happens when you're being stupid. Well, we were being stupid. But Ryan does have a pretty badass-looking face in that video. Dude. So let's go oh, yeah. ahead and – oh, yeah. Look at those. Look at that face. <laughs> I thought mine was bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Oh, that's the best one right there. <laughs> that is. That is. I was like, oh, shit. So someone submitted a, uh, there it is. That's the money yeah. shot right there. <laughs> that is the money oh. shot. Yep. Damn it. Papa so. <laughs> Just ain't working right tonight. I'm all jumpy, frozen up. You done lost me. My flip phone, yeah. my flip, flip phone has just disconnected me from everything. But you know what? We're gonna try it again. That's pretty good. All right. So show me the video again. I gotta see it again. You know, you just crashed my. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Damn it. Ah. That sucks. Damn it. <sighs> well, Billy's gonna be mad about this. Billy's gonna be really <laughs> mad. <laughs> Well, Billy got over it. Did he get over it though? He's over it. I'm over it. Well, I mean, I feel like you were over it probably, you know, ten minutes after it happened. But you know, I mean, that happens. Well, you know, no, no, it just happened last night to the whole world. So that was only what about a year and a half ago, boosted. <laughs> it seems like. Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. That was a while ago, man. I don't even remember what happened. Uh, that was that uh, was a long race. time ago. Yeah, but it was a good but, time, uh, and you know, a lot of people. Uh, you know, I, I see some of the comments. I laugh at them. I, I love the haters. You know, oh, you can't drive. Eh, yeah, you're probably right. I can. So, I'm good with it. I own it. Well, we all know you can drive, Jeff. We've seen you drive. You drive three second cars. You drive cars that are insanely fast so dude we all make mistakes um i've wrecked you know I, i've wrecked my shit countless times so it's all good it happens man it's all part of it yeah <laughs> well, so know, hey and, and the people yeah oh absolutely and the people don't understand the amount of passes that we make in the they can't even fathom how many times we make a hit in these cars a couple hundred and you know what? It's not. It's not if. It's when. So, it was good, right? Yeah. Hey, man. It could have been worse. You could have showed up in a uh, a Toyota Prius. I thought. I thought that was the manliest car there. Hey. For you to show up in a Prius was badass. Not everybody can pull it off, but I pulled it off. You did. I loved the four ways when you turned the four ways on. Just letting them know, you know. I, it was a close race. I almost beat that oh. race truck. Oh, I thought I thought you put them on to just let them know that you were going to be in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I let them know that I didn't fall asleep during my pass. I was still awake. <laughs> I do believe you treated him, though. I did. <laughs> I left. But that you couldn't crazy. really tell because <laughs> it didn't go nowhere. But that's okay. That was good stuff, it's all man. Good, man. Uh, I've got messages after messages today that everybody says that that was the funniest episode they've seen in a long time. Dude, the funny part about that episode that they didn't show was the cruise. The cruise was the funnest part because the entire cast almost went to jail. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were going to reshoot some of the video, or the, uh, they were going to reshoot a scene with me when I got pulled over because I was GoPro'd up, but they wanted to get the video of the cop. Well, after I crashed the vet, they x the cop idea and thought, man, that's TV gold, him sticking this thing in a ditch. So the day we <laughs> shot that and Olivia was uh, the producer, she looked yeah. like she was on cloud nine. She was grinning ear to ear when I stuffed that thing into the grass. Oh yeah, it was awful. <laughs> it was good. You know, you know when they get TV gold, they run with it. They're all smiles. So, uh, so I can just imagine what was going through your head as you went into the ditch. You're like, the internet is going to kill me. <laughs> you know what? I. I I really didn't even give a shit about the internet. You know what killed me is I'm thinking, man, I just tore this goddamn car brand new. You know, and I'm thinking, <laughs> what an asshole I am for tearing, tearing this goddamn car up. You know, I don't care. Yeah. About I like I said, I love the haters, and you know, they can bash me all they want, but they're still following me. That's right. They're still following you, but. You know, yep. it could have been a lot worse. Thank God you and Ryan were okay. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe the pride was hurt a little bit, but that's it. And Ryan's shoes got very dirty. Uh, but yes. if that's the worst that happened, dude, you're you're very lucky. Uh, he, especially he being a convertible. A yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we had to. Dude, talk you about look it. great. You look great in I, that com in that convertible vet. You look great. I'm not a Corvette guy. I'm not. I, that picture is great. I love. It. I'll never look at that picture now. 
You look like uh, you were in your home while driving that thing. Like you were just right at home in there. Like, like you had yeah, ten no, of them at home. I, I used to like you. Uh, I'm, I'm second guessing that right now. Well, <laughs> it's all good. You, you, my internet might disconnect me for too long here in a second, so you yeah. might be okay. You might yeah. get a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all right. So that was the OG show. Um, you know, one other part that I thought was really cool on the OG show was Sean Murdernova talking to Aiden, his son, you know, they're, they're in his shop talking about his car that they've built, you know, and, and Aiden's yep. wanting to drive it. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the reason why I liked it so much was because, you know, I got a son and I just look at it as, you know, I can't wait to be at that point. You know what I mean? And, and I thought it was yep. a really cool scene. I'm, I'm glad that they showed that on, on a TV. So that, that was cool that yeah. that scene made it. That that is special, and you know that's time that you'll never get back. And, and to have it, you know, documented like that is awesome. Because Sean, Sean's my boy. He he's you know, you know how Sean is. He's got your back no matter what. And uh, Aiden, I've been watching Aiden grow up for the past ten years. It's just crazy to now see him driving a race car. And you know, I got to do that with my son, and I'm still doing it with my son. So. It's pretty cool. Awesome. Be careful. Be, be careful what you wish for, Boosted, because he'll be driving. He'll be 16 before you know it, and you'll be the biggest idiot he knows. Oh, I know. He probably already thinks that, anyways. Now, so it's okay. He's already started. <laughs> uh, he's a good kid. <laughs> so, all right. So we'll shift gears uh, and move on to uh, Mega Cash Days. That also was yep. last night. I believe it was night number seven, dude. All these nights are starting to run together. I've lost track of what number we're on, but uh, I think it was I night number seven. You. you hear me now? Yeah, I, I can hear you, but I don't know where the hell you went. Yeah. Oh, hold I'm on, all hold skipping on. around. There we go. <laughs> See me now? Jeff, you there? Jeff. Jeff Lutz. I think we done lost Jeff. Did Jeff's internet die now? Is Jeff there? Jeff's back. There you go. Jeff's back. I got you. What happened, Jeff? I'm back. <laughs> I don't so, know. So we're one and one now for internet crashing. Yours has crashed. Mine crashed. Mine's still on the verge of crashing, uh, but it's all good. We're going to push through it. So welcome back, Jeff. Uh, we only we showed the picture of you and Papa Smurf while you were gone until you got back. That one. Just for you. <laughs> and Jeff, now, now I can't hear you, Jeff, but I'm just going to keep talking. So... We had Mega Cash Days uh, last night, night number seven. I believe it was the fourth bracket, first round of the fourth bracket. Um, we had some, you know, some good races, man. There was uh, some really surprising races as well, and guys like newcomers that no one's heard of that came out there and just kicked some serious ass. Um, but one thing I want to talk about real quick was – the race between Chris Rankin and Jerry Bird. Let's go ahead and show that video real quick, if we can. That's close. Both cars jumped. We're going to have to go to the tape to see which one jumped worse. All right. They literally red lit at the exact same time, and I'm not bull****. It's amazing. So the only fair thing to do in this case is to rerun the race. So can we, yep. can we please wait on the light? All right. Can you hear, can so, you hear me, Boosted? Yeah, I got you, man. Did you see the video? OK. Yep. All right, cool. So. Look, I'll be the first to admit when I'm wrong. 
and when I make a mistake. And look, I've already wrote this down for the next one. The whole Chris Rankin, Jerry Bird race, you know, the more I thought about it uh, after the fact, of course, uh, you know, maybe the right thing to do in that scenario, instead of having them rerun, uh, since they both left at the same time, even though they red lit, uh, you know, I probably should have just went with who won the race. That yep. probably would have been the better thing to do. And look, I'm all for making this this race better. Uh, you know, I'll take that home uh, and take that as a mistake. I've made several in this whole series. Uh, you know, some things that people don't understand uh, is, you know, there's 64 drivers. And with those 64 drivers is, you know, three to five crew members each. So literally at any point in time, you've got 300 people staring at you when you go to make a call. And on top of that, you've got an entire film crew of probably another hundred people staring at you while you make a call. So look guys, it's not easy to think on your feet and make a split decision with all these people staring at you. And Jeff, I'm sure you know, I mean, I, I it's a tough job. You go through that. I watched you go through that and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. That was the largest race ever. And to have like, like you said, to have the crew, the racers, the family. Oh my God. There was just, there's a thousand people at any given point, all bitching because boosted didn't make the call that they thought was right. I thought you did a great yeah. job and you handled that race with, uh, I mean, good Lord. I don't know how you did it. You did a great job and you flagged every damn race. You called every damn race. You fought with everybody that wanted to fight with you. Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't want that job. No, man. But like I said, uh, I took this note down, and if it happens in the future, we'll know how to address it better. You know, at the time, I thought rerunning the race was the best, the best decision. Uh, and you know what? I I would change it if if it happened again right now. I would just right. just you know, like I said, you know. So, anyways, enough on that. I had to address that. But they did rerun, and uh, Jerry Bird did end up winning. Uh, uh, the rerun. So uh, there's that. Um, also, for those that watched, y'all noticed that James Finney uh, drove my car. Uh, he made he made one pass last night in it. It wasn't great. It wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't good. Uh, I, I'll tell you, uh, we, we tested and tested that car. And Jeff, I think we came up on you guys while y'all were testing as we were testing. Yep. And, yep. you know, it wasn't for a lack of trying. I can tell you, I think I probably made, uh, you know, between me and James Finney, we both probably made 15 to 20 passes outside the race just testing. So, uh, you know. Every day. Uh, uh, yeah, every day. Every day. In, in broad daylight. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, uh, and I just, you know, the car – Works good, but for whatever reason in Nebraska, it just didn't work good. So, you know, uh, I, I'll take the blame on that because I was putting the tune-ups in. I was doing the stuff I normally do, and, you know, I feel bad for James Finney uh, because I, I really thought I gave him a competitive car, but it turns out I didn't. So, uh, at least last night. So, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, it, but it is what it is. So, uh, the next thing, dude. What did you think about Brandon James in that 68 Mustang? When I seen that car first go, I was like, wow, who's this kid? And I started looking at the car and I was, I was dumbfounded by it. And that kid, that kid could drive and he did a great job. Um, it still blows my mind. You know, a kid out of nowhere, come from nowhere and was kicking everybody's ass is just absolutely amazing to me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, dude, I was, I mean, he made two just, I mean, dude, like he went up against cars that 60 foot pretty good. And he just like two cars out by the 60. It's like, how do you, <laughs> yeah. Like he's he's yeah. doing nitrous stuff with a turbo car. It was amazing. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. But, yeah, it was uh, that car was very impressive. 
Yeah. Very impressive. Um, and nice people yeah, too. Oh yeah. That dude uh, was, you know, he was super humble, super quiet. I mean, you, you heard him say it on the show. He's like, I just made 10 grand tonight. I've never made 10 grand in a complete weekend of racing, much less in one night. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, he'll be back. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I can only hope that he keeps that energy going through the rest of the race. Uh, but, you know, if – if he continues with what he did last night, it's it's going to be tough uh, to beat that car. But we'll have to see, you know, what happens uh, uh, with that car. Know, so. yeah. uh, I saw a comment over here. Someone was asking, who did James Finney race? Uh, he raced Lee Roberts. Uh, and actually, we have a video from that. We can go ahead and show that real quick. I, I didn't want to show it, but we'll, we'll go ahead and show it. Just a little too much. I remember that. <laughs> I remember it too. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. Tough, man. Yeah, it, tough. It, you know, it, it was uh, it was tough to watch it as you flagged the race and you watch it go by you spinning. Uh, it was it was tough, but yeah, that's what happened. And that's racing. Uh, look, tell me what you think. I, mean, I ask all the racers this, but but give me your opinion on the double elimination, giant 64 car field, moving the starting line. Like, tell me your whole opinion on Mega Cash Days in general. Like, what do you think? Man, I I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, it, it was. Uh, I was how it worked and it worked. It was a cool format and it gave, you know, guys like Brandon James, a place to race. Nobody's ever heard of him. Now he's on national TV racing. Um, yeah. You know, it, and I met a lot of nice people and, you know, Brandon James's family, it, it, everybody. It was just cool. And when I first got there, when we did the very first driver's meeting, I thought there ain't no freaking way that we're going to get all these races off. And to see how smooth it went, even though, you know, like Dwayne Mills crashed against me, Doc crashed, um, you know, it just, it was crazy to see 64 cars get through all of that. And we finished it. I mean, it was crazy. It was just absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it, you know, it was the biggest race I've ever been a part of for sure. And me too, you know, the, the uh, yeah, uh, you know, and, and it's, it's been the same, uh, comment from most drivers about it. You know, the best part about it was that you could make a mistake and you're still not out of the race. That is the unique part about it. So, yeah. Yeah. I screwed up both nights. I sucked both nights. <laughs> now, I don't uh, think you were the only one, uh, no, by any means. <laughs> yeah. There was, there was quite a few of us that sucked. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I did see a comment over there about Lee Roberts. Uh, Lee Roberts is who Birdman raced. Um, and the crazy thing about that is Lee Roberts was on like his third motor before the event even started. And then they blew it up uh, against Finney. And, oh, that's you know, right. dude, like that man, even though he won. 5,000. I mean, he is bleeding money. <laughs> like, oh my God. profusely yeah, bleeding pulled, money. They pulled the motor out of one of JJ's other cars. Remember? They, to put in the, yeah. the green Nova to put in the black Nova. I think they pulled it out of Heifer. I think that's the blue one. Well, I think it's blue, green, whatever. That's it. Yeah. So. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, they pulled it out of that one. But, yeah, no, just amazing to change a motor out that fast. I mean, they changed it um, in 45 minutes, dude. Like They did. If I hang a rod that out, I'm going home. Yeah. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah. You don't have any spare small block forge laying around? I mean, I do. Uh, well, kind of, but not in 45 minutes time to change yeah. it. Like, I need a week. Yeah. Give me a week. <laughs> oh, shit. So, anyways. Yeah, that was cool to watch. Right. Yeah, it was. It was real cool to watch. It was real cool to watch. But, uh, so, um, shifting gears a little bit, let's talk about no prep kings, Jeff. Yep. Um, how ready are you for that? I am as ready as I'll ever be. I, uh, last, last New Year's, I had acquired a, a 04 GTO. And we refurbished it, put a new body on it, did a bunch of stuff our way. And it's unbelievable. Uh, it's, I love driving it. That thing's fast. The third hit out, it went a sub 160 foot. Um, wow. It's, yeah, it's, it's quick. It's real quick. And we've already, we've already made serious, serious strides with it. So. Yeah, I'm ready. That car's sitting in the uh, – it's sitting here in OKC with me. Actually, both cars are. I'm ready to do it. Nice. Nice. It's a beautiful car, Jeff. Uh, Thank you. You know, and everybody's going to ask, you know, it's well within the rules of no prep kings, right? Sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I had to shorten the front end. I had to – widen the front end i had to do all kinds of crazy shit it's steel roof and quarters um the bumper's carbon fiber because nobody really makes a bumper for it um right. you know, it's within the wheel actually it's it's a short wheelbase car but let me tell you really that thing is amazing absolutely amazing those cars factory were a 109 inch wheelbase believe it or not really yes yep yeah, and I've always wanted to do one. Um, I wish I would have built it from scratch, knowing that, you know, the, the pandemic was happening and everything, because we thrashed for three months to get that car done to make the first No Prep Kings. And, of course, it got canceled. So, um, you know, which gave us all the time in the world to test it. We, we took fuel to it, got it dynoed. It was amazing. Just the whole the whole journey of the car was just crazy. I love, I love everything about it. I, I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah. No, man, it, it looks like it's uh you know, it looks like a, it's a beautiful car. Uh, I haven't seen it in person. I haven't got to watch it make a pass, but I mean, no one who built it, no one who's going to drive it. I mean, it has no option, but to be fast. So, uh, you I know, appreciate congrats. That. Yeah, con congrats on that, Jeff, uh, for sure. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, one other thing, you know, speaking of no prep kings and no prep, uh, you know, everybody's always asking, hey, where are you guys going to be no prep racing? And uh, I tell you, there's a website now that y'all can check out, and I've been talking about it a lot, but noprep.com. Jeff, I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, there, There's actually a schedule on that page uh, with locations, um, you know, of where we're going to be, uh, who's racing, uh, how much, you know, it's got all kinds of information on it. They've got merchandise, hoodies, shirts. Um, you know, I try to emphasize this, like y'all want to know where we're going, check out noprep.com. Um, you know, I'm on there. I think I got a profile on there. They did a, they did a nice article yep. on me. I mean, there's just some good information on, on that website for you fans and spectators to check out. Cause I keep seeing questions like, Hey, when you come in here, when you come in there, like for real, the schedule is on no prep racing.com or no prep.com, excuse me, uh, to, to check out the no prep racing. So by all means, check it out. That is your ticket to knowing where we're going to be. Um, so yep. Hell, I way, Jeff, to see where we're going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh you know, you joke about that, but you're right. Like sometimes, you know, I'll be wondering, well, I wonder where we're going to be racing at, uh, you know, and then uh, I'm waiting for the call, but then I see, oh, well, it looks like I'm racing here. Uh, apparently I saw it on the internet. 
And sure enough, that's where we're racing is where I saw on the yeah. internet. It's kind of funny how that works. People have, have no idea what we go through. <laughs> Crazy. So it's crazy. But yeah, man, I hope that uh you know the no prep kings is able to start back up. I mean, that's some good racing. Yep. That's some good interaction with fans. It allows people to see the racing firsthand because the TV doesn't do any justice uh with how fast these cars really are. You have yep. to see it in person. Yep. So um, hey, let me but, uh, let me put something to bed here. Everybody keeps asking. Let's uh, see it. Everybody keeps asking about the Trans Am Jeffrey and I build in my shop. No, yeah. it is not Chief's car. It is not Chief's car. That is a good, close, personal friend of mine. His name's Steve Chichek. We built that car for him. Um, we're waiting on a motor for it, and it's going to Potter Coat. And he nicknamed it the Bandit. And it is going to be a badass car. That thing is so cool. Um, but yeah, sorry guys, it's not Chiefs. It's not for sale. It's for a friend of mine. Nah, there you go. You heard it here first. Uh, Jeff Lutz puts the rumor away that the Trans Am is not Chiefs. Dude. Yeah, everybody. Oh my God. Yeah, Chief called me and said, "Hey, I heard you build me a Trans Am." I said, "No shit." <laughs> <laughs> man oh, that's amazing yeah. that's amazing you yeah. know uh it, it's the rumor mill on the internet is a very strange place uh well you know if I it's see. on the internet it's got to be true you know that yeah it, it's got to be yeah you're right it's got to be so uh so oh we got a question uh lutz was bobby mad when he saw his corvette mishap i think they mean billy uh, but you know what? But <laughs> funny story about that is I had Ryan take it to the detail. And Ryan actually gave it back to Billy. So I never really talked to Billy. He wasn't mad at me. He didn't call me. He was just fine. <laughs> well, hey, look. Yeah, that's, you know. You made Ryan uh, do the dirty work there. It sounds like so. I did, but I did. hey, he got dirty. Jeff, do you want to sell your fifty-seven? No. Tony Roy West, the answer is no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Some good stuff on but there. Yeah. yeah, but Jeff, look. You looked great in the vet uh, again. Uh, you know, you, you know, you did what you did with with uh, the best way you could. Put it that way. All you had to do was get yep. some dirt off the bottom of the car, and that was it. And yep. in my opinion, that's a good crash. In my opinion, but look what if I you're going to crash. That's how you crash. Look what I did to Ryan, though. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh. <laughs> I haven't talked to him in the past couple of days. I'm sure he's eating us up. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of his pictures floating around on Facebook. Lots of pictures. Lots and lots oh, yeah. of pictures. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That gives him something to talk about. Well, Jeff, is there anything else, uh, you know, do you have a website for your merchandise? Do you have a page on Facebook for your fab work? Like, yeah. tell all these people yeah. where to go. We got all kinds of cool shit going on. Um, you can go to Lutz Race Cars, uh, Facebook. You can get hats, shirts, hoodies, you name it. Um, we try to answer everybody. There's a store there. There's a button that you click, you know, to buy merchandise. Uh, you can also get it at Summit Racing. You can get the cars, the hats, the shirts. And a lot of people don't know that uh, we're doing another show. We're doing a build show with Farm Truck and Asian, and it's off the hook. Wait till you see the shit we're building. It is just absolutely insane. And I heard nice. the first episode's going to air somewhere in April. Um, it's just, it's it's a dream come true to do...
what we're doing and I'm living the dream, you know, and it's just crazy to do. It's absolutely crazy. You know, yeah, Jeff, and uh, it, it, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. No, I'm, I'm a, I'm more than happy for you, man. The new show sounds like it's going to be awesome. You know, you're right at home doing your fab work, the stuff you really enjoy doing. Um, and yep. you know, farm truck and Asian and their ideas and your ideas. Like I can't wait to see yeah. what comes out of this show. You, yeah. I'll tell you what, the first episode that we shot was a couple of weeks ago and you just won't believe it. It is, it's going to knock people on their ass. It, it, I can't even say anything about it. It's just crazy to build what we built and we stuck Asian in it and holy shit. It's just insane. It, it, you're going to want to watch it. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely well, I'm gonna crazy. Watch and, yeah. And to do it, you know, to do it with farm truck and Asian, those guys have been my friends, you know, forever, just like you boosted, you know, they took me in and just like you did when I needed to place the test, you were the guy to say, come on down to Texas. And I sat there on a Saturday with you at forum way. You remember that? <laughs> oh Yeah. We were there all day. <laughs> oh my God. That was awesome. I think Ronnie dude. Pace and his wife were cooking. They were. They right were cooking the out over there in the, in the parking lot. Man, that dude. was a long time ago. But yeah, to do all this stuff with all y'all, and I get to do it with my son. And, you know, to have family support and everything, it's just crazy. It's just, like I said, I, everybody at home, yeah, I do. I got two places. I'm in one in Pennsylvania, and I live home than I do in Pennsylvania. So, yeah, I don't yeah. do any more fab work for anybody uh, right now, you know, because we are just so covered up. We have a backlog at the shop, two or three years long. You know, I can't even get to the stuff, so um, I don't take any more work on. I'm just covered up totally. Yeah, but that's a good problem to have. Uh, it's a great know, problem. At least you know you got some work, buddy. So, yep, absolutely, you know, absolutely. Speak, speaking of fab work, someone keeps ask, asking, what's it cost to build a No Prep Kings car? Uh, from me? Yeah, from you. You're looking at 200 grand. There you go. 200 grand. Big Waters 5-2, $200,000. And he only accepts... <laughs> The Benjamins. There's no credit. That's right. Bring, your own, hey, bring your own motor and tranny. Bring your own motor and tranny. <laughs> Do not bring any type of credit card. He wants no. cash. That's right. 200000 That's so. right. All right. Well, Jeff, man, you know, I appreciate you being on tonight. Uh, I appreciate the fans that stuck with it. I know... The internet is complete shit tonight. I'm freezing up. I'm bouncing all over the place. My sound's dropping out. Jeff's sound's dropping out. You know, it's technology, and we're at the mercy of that, but I appreciate y'all sticking around. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us, man. Hey. We're going to have you back on probably uh, in, probably soon, uh, probably next Anytime, you know, boost, five or six episodes. Know. Yeah, so thank you. We'll do it again. Thank you so much, everyone.